Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video on how to use the new curse launcher and how to set up a mod pack. So we're going to curse.com and we're going to download it. Now I would suggest going to games and Minecraft because there is a different uh, exe. So curse.com slash games slash Minecraft. If you don't do that one, that's fine. I'll show you uh, how to install the plugin still. So you're going to see it downloading it here. We're going to launch it and run. And we're going to install it. It's pretty quick. We can minimize this. Uh, something will pop up here in a second and go ding. So uh, you'll see a black screen because that's the permission elevation in Windows. So you should see it back. There we go. We're ready. We're going to launch. And here we are. We're into the curse launcher. Now you're going to need a curse uh, login. Um, if you have Minecraft forms and stuff, it should work. Or you can create one through here. So hopefully uh, my information uh, is the same as I remember it. There you go. Welcome back. So depending on your uh, setup, it might look a little different than mine uh, just because uh, I've used it before, but it should look pretty similar to this. We're going to maximize this up. Now you should have a Minecraft button that will say let's get started and install. If you don't have this icon here, then click the gear settings here, go to plugins, and then enable it, and then it should pop up. So we're going to go and install the plugin here, and you're going to see it's pretty quick. It does its thing. It's magical. And then uh, that's, that's pretty much it. We're going to browse all packs here and uh, you can see all your packs here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in which one was that was that all yep so that's everyone's including feed the beast etc and we're gonna type in sandbox oh this pops up once in a while notice you're logged into steam so it's offering if you want to uh, sync up your profile if you want to do that that's cool so we're gonna type in sandbox and uh, we're gonna install our pack that we've made here for our server and we're gonna click install here and it's gonna do its thing pretty badass and it does it all for you. You can actually go back to the main menu here if you like, and you can watch the progress as well. While that's happening, we're going to show you some settings that you can do with the Minecraft instancing. So if you click the gear at the bottom left again, and you click Minecraft, uh, you can set different things like preferred releases, so you can have it showing beta, release, uh, alpha, etc. You can change up the resolution. I don't touch that usually. You can set the amount of uh, memory, so you can set it to 6 gigs. You can set it to 256. I've seen some people have an issue with this. I would recommend the 4 gigs. Uh, I guess that's right at 4 gigs right there. Uh, the reason for that is some packs might be really heavy and you don't have to worry about it, but you don't also want to set it too high sometimes because then it might be just a little too much. Actually, this might be the start of 5 gigs, I'm not sure, but we'll just set it there anyways. And uh, everything else should be fine. You can set up like backups, etc, etc. We're just going to hit done and we have our pack up and running, so we're just going to hit play. Now, because this is the first time, it's going to actually download and install the vanilla Minecraft launcher. So it's not actually forcing you to log into your Minecraft information through Curse. This is actually using the vanilla launcher. You could actually close down Curse right now, and it would just be fine. We're going to type in our information, since this is our first time. And uh, hopefully everything works just fine. So we'll click Login. There we go. And you'll notice, just to make sure everything's working real well, it says profile here is sandbox. You hit edit profile. You can see our memory settings. So that setting wasn't actually quite 4 gigs. That was like 4.5 gigs almost because you can see it says 4,400 megabytes there. Uh, but 4,400, yeah, yeah. Not a big deal. And then all you have to do is hit play and uh, watch it load. Now, this is a very, very big pack. So I just want to warn you, depending on the pack, because of how long it t sometimes takes to open the instancing of Java with the vanilla launcher, um, it might actually take up to 30 seconds sometimes to actually even show anything on the screen. So right now you might think, okay, what's going on? Nothing, Nothing's happening. Is there a bug? Should I end task? What's what's going on? Even if you went to your task manager, you'll notice Java is not even doing anything. It's just sitting there. The memory is not increasing. The CPU is not increasing. The um, network traffic is not doing anything. Uh, this is very, very normal. And the bigger the pack is, the longer it usually takes that I find. Um, but you'll see it pop up here any minute now. 
and you just need to be patient patient with it, and you should be good to go. I'm not going to give you guys, uh, I'm not going to show you the pack, you know, launching and going in-game. You guys know how to play Minecraft and mod packs and stuff, but uh, I just wanted to show you the initial start of it, showing you what work from scratch. This should work on any computer, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows uh, 10, just fine. And if you guys have any problems or issues, uh, feel free to use the... Uh, video uh, comments or check our forms out and we should be able to help you also curse uh, website there should have some support options as well if you need them so thank you guys and girls so much for watching i hope this was helpful please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see you wonderful people next time